we meet people in social events, social settings, business events, uh, entertainment settings, family events, all the time, and always say, I'm going to follow up with you, I'm going to have a conversation with you, oh, it was great meeting you, um, we have to get together, we have to do this, that, or the other, and um, very often that doesn't happen, and that's because a lot of times when you are in these settings, those kind of conversations are uh, pleasant and they are for the moment, but the person doesn't sincerely uh, desire to interact with you. They're what they feel is completely different than what they're saying. And uh, I want to encourage you as you go out about and you meet people to follow up, follow up with people, follow up, follow up warmly, follow up quickly, and follow up and be helpful. Uh, it's one of the best ways to put yourself in a great position in your career in business. If you are a person who follows up, who uh, interacts with people and, and does what they say they're going to do and tries to bring other people together, you are going to have lots and lots of opportunities. You're going to have friends and you're going to have lots of customers. Most people don't follow up. Uh, they give their business card, they don't follow up. They uh, promise to uh, follow up with someone, they don't. They don't find a way to work someone into their uh, network and their activities. And it's really sad because so much of the, the effort that people go to, to be visible, to be out, to enjoy themselves, uh, is not leveraged because a person doesn't really recognize that they've been put in these settings for a reason, that they're interacting with someone for a reason, that there's real opportunity in, these fo in this follow-up. I'm thinking right now about a couple of situations where I followed up rather quickly with someone at an event and shortly thereafter they wound up being a client of mine that we wound up working together we wound up sharing notes the person might have introduced me to someone else and this is just what I do I try to make sure that the follow-up is there now one um, concern some people have about follow-up is that they they don't want to appear like they're selling something to someone they're you know they've got all this negative view about selling and therefore they don't want to appear to to sell something and I always tell my clients if you have something to sell that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to follow up and sell it you know selling is not something you do to someone that hurts them it's something you do for them that benefits them. It's, some, it's a way of serving them. Uh, it's a way of making something available to them that you believe will be helpful to them. So you don't have to shy away from selling something. You don't have to shy away from offering something. But if you don't know what to do in the context of follow-up, you can always follow up with someone by trying to be helpful. Try to get them another opportunity try to point out something that you see in the marketplace that they should be aware of. Send them a news article. Uh, send them a photo of the event. Uh, direct them to news coverage of something that might be of value to them. Uh, share a uh, tidbit from one of your experiences. Direct them to your own material, to your own work, to your own references. Do something that you know will help them, and I guarantee you that it will come back to you. It will multiply for you. Um, Follow-up is where there is tremendous opportunity. It's where there is lots of joy in your business and career, and it's where there is money. There is money in follow-up. And so often, people think that they met someone, oh, why do I need to really know this person, or this person doesn't matter. Someone might even follow up with them, but they don't respond. The person could be calling you with an opportunity. The person could be calling you with um, something that's meaningful, and you don't respond. Uh, I see this happens all the time. Um, in fact, not too long ago, I called someone, and I had an opportunity in mind for them, and they didn't respond. And uh, weeks went by and I frankly forgotten that I had this particular opportunity for them that I was aware of 
and I wanted to make them aware of it. And I didn't recall that until I went to look at um, one of my lists, saw that this person was on it, saw that um, this person was not opening or responding to our emails, and then realized that, wow, I also called this person and the person didn't respond. So the opportunities in follow-up are significant. If you've had a great experience with someone, you've been a client of someone, follow up. If you have offered someone a product or service, follow up. If you find value for someone, follow up. If you have a question, follow up. If you want to make them aware of what you're doing, follow up, follow up, follow up. If you follow up, you will break through where others do not. You will be there when an opportunity arises. You will stay top of mind. You will be someone that will be a go-to person when it matters. And it will spark your ideas. It will spark their ideas. It will be um, something that will uh, uh, put you, you, we talk about being in the right place at the right time. Uh, the person who is at the right place at the right time is the person who follows up. Make sure you follow up quickly, you follow up warm, and you follow up helpful. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this tip. Share it with someone in your network. Follow up with someone, and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.